Odessa fire crews frantically trying to save four utility workers trapped inside this Odessa water tower. The dramatic rescue caught by one of our viewers. You can see fire crews trying to shove that ladder inside the base of the tower to try to get to those workers, fighting against a huge amount of water pouring out. City officials tell us those workers could have drowned, but luckily fire crews got to them just in time. This all happened at the Odessa Water Tower on 93rd and Rainbow. To give you an idea where it's at, it's almost right across the street from Barbara Jordan Elementary. So how did this happen? We have team coverage tonight. We begin with Jonathan Palasik, who has been working on getting you some answers. Jonathan, do they have any clue about how this came about? Good evening, Crystal. It was about 4.30 this afternoon that Odessa Fire Rescue responded to a possible drowning here at this water tower at 93rd and Rainbow here in Odessa. Workers, were, they were doing some routine patchwork to cover a small leak in there when the actual, or one of the pipes actually ruptured, which caused more water to flow out. Now, one person that was still inside when Fire Rescue got here, but the, uh, the Fire Rescue, they were able to uh, get the entire crew out uh, with only minor injuries. Now, now, small delays are expected uh, as you know work continues uh, on this water tower here right now. But if your water hasn't come back on, it should be coming on uh, pretty quickly. And as you can see, you know workers are still out; they're still doing some work trying to get everything situated. So you can kind of take a look out there. Uh, fire rescue left uh, closer to about maybe 5:15 or so, and then there's still a bunch of water out here uh, in the surrounding field. You can kind of. So still lots of work to be done. Uh, we'll have more details about all of this coming up later tonight at 10. Crystal, back to you. Thanks, Jonathan. Well, there is a neighborhood and a school just across the street from that water tower. We continue our team coverage with Sammy Steele. Sammy, a lot of people are just now coming home. What did they think when they saw those fire crews and all of that water out there? Good evening, Crystal. Well, it was a very, you know, exciting, chaotic afternoon here in Odessa. Now, many of these neighbors that I talked to right here near the water tower, they actually didn't see anything because they were at work. It was only when they got home from work that they saw the crews and, you know, the wet street. But there was a crew here that did see it. A gentleman and some of his co-workers who were working on a roof. You saw the whole thing. You heard a loud boom. You looked over to the water tower. Describe to me what you saw. Um, I looked over and it was like a bunch of, like, there was like a small explosion, like a lot of pressure of water coming out. I looked over and you, you could hear the guys yelling, talking about there's three dudes in there stuck. So I took my phone out, started recording, and I stood up on the roof and I started looking because you could see everything from the roof better than down here. And you could see where they go in there and pull one out and they both fly out. The dude that went in there, help them out to get them out, and then the dude that was stuck. And then they start yelling at the second guy that was stuck in there, tell him to grab the stick. They pull out this big old stick, tell him grab the stick, grab the stick. Then they put him out. He came out flying too, out of because of pressure. And then the third guy was stuck in there. They just kept yelling and yelling at him to stand up, don't fall, stand up, because he was stuck in there pretty deep. They didn't. Maybe like 30 minutes later, the ambulance showed up and the rescue team. They all ran up in there and they pulled him out. Eventually, he came out all right. Now, Lucille, you described to me that at first, you know, he thought that this was just a routine, you know, water tower check. But then things quickly turned there and it got a little chaotic when it seemed like it was a big worry. They weren't going to get this gentleman out. Were you worried that you might have witnessed something horrific here? Yeah, I, I was. I was like, man, did I just witness some like some like a death or something? Because he was stuck in there pretty deep. I could hear the, the I guess the owner of the company, he, his voice. Yeah, he was like very sincere about it. Like, he was, he was all wet in his fancy suit trying to get his, his worker out of there. They are really worried about it. And how grateful were you that, you know, all of these neighbors, their homes were damaged, no one was hurt, including that crew member, you know, minor injuries. How does that make you feel? I mean, it was all right, because then that would have messed our job up, too, because the street got flooded within, like, maybe, like, five good minutes. If it would have went, like, maybe the, more, like, more than an hour than it really went, maybe it would have hit the houses, because it was pretty, a lot of pressure coming out of there. Well, thank you, Lucille Ramirez. Thank you so much for your time. Glad you're okay. Glad all of these neighbors here are okay. Reporting live in Odessa, I'm Sammy Steele.